President Trump scoring a breakthrough deal with Japan while overseas, but apparently his media critics don't see it that way. In a tweet, the president reveals, quote, the question I was asked most today by fellow world leaders who think the USA is doing so well and is stronger than ever before happens to be, Mr. President, why does the American media hate your country so much? Why are they rooting for it to fail? Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce is president of the Independent Women's Voice and host of uh, get Tammy Bruce on the great Fox Nation app. Tammy, uh, so the president tweeted that out, and a lot of people uh, followed his tweet with doubts that he actually is hearing that in those meetings. Well, obviously what we've learned from the media is that they make things up, right? They're in their own separate reality. Even with, start, with the beginning of him going there, deciding what they were going to report, we've seen like with the New York Times and that leaked transcript, deciding what the next two years of news is going to look like. And the American people are tired of that. It's a shame that the American legacy media is being destroyed by people who are that selfish and that, that obsessed. But the fact of the matter is the president's making it clear. And we see the results. This is what's interesting. We're, we're not having to take his word for something. Every time that they say something's occurring and he moves in to, like, make this deal and the G7's going very well, we see the end result with him. And yet the media right. still pretends as though that didn't occur. Well, I'm glad you brought that up at the end because it's like if, if you hear somebody say one thing and it turns out to be something yes. completely different, it's yes. like, wait a minute, I thought you told me that this was going to happen. Yes. At some point, people lose faith in that. Well, well, they do. And then if that continues on for years and years, then you actually go to a doctor and then you, maybe you go to a shrink's office and maybe you get medication <laughs> in the normal world because you're so detached from the reality of what's going on. We can all have different opinions and have a different idea about how we how we move forward in this country. But this is, as the president's noted, and is obvious to everyone, except, I guess, the people who go to cocktail parties with the, with the New York Times, is that something's wrong, that there is an actual desire to gaslight people into believing something that is not true, in that the president doesn't right. know what he's doing. And yet we see now, time and It's time an election again, year. What do you expect? But, it, but it, this it hasn't been like this before. Because now it's just about lies from the system overall that are harming the country and harming right. how the country is being viewed. If you look at Margaret Brennan on Face the Nation and Chuck Todd I try not the press, to. but they have disdain for the president in the tone in which they ask the questions. There's no curiosity that Tim Russert used to bring to it that Chris Correct. Wallace brings every week. So this is this is what drives the president nuts. Yeah, and and this is it's it's. You know, he's willing, clearly, he meets with the worst people in the world and tries to negotiate and tries to, you know, debate with them and get a good job done. He can, he'll do that with everyone. But the difference is, is that I think what he's saying is that there's a, a drumbeat that where they want there to be damage to the United States. And I would argue in part, it's not just because they don't like Trump. It's because they think the American people should be punished for what they've done to the establishment. You know, well, bring it on, because we've got another election coming. In terms of the questions that have been asked, you know, especially with the China trade deal, the statements that have been made imply or straight up say that President Trump is the one responsible for the yeah. way China is behaving in this aspect, rather than holding China accountable for everything they've been doing against America. I would right. say that that's actually years. good news, because China blinked, okay. and he is responsible because right. he stood firm. Uh, check out uh, Tammy's show on Fox Nation. It's called Tammy Bruce. Check it out, foxnation.com. Tammy?